Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to do a full factory reset on the Wowie P10 Lite. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so if you've got a P10 Lite and you want to do a factory reset, it's very straightforward to do, so I'm going to go through the process now. now I'm going to talk you through it, and then I'll do a close-up version so you can see exactly how it's done. So the first thing to do with your phone, if it's on already, make sure you turn it off. So press and hold the power button on the side, and then choose the option to power off. When the device is fully powered off, what you'll need to do is to locate the buttons on the side of the phone, and the volume rocker and the power on off switch. Now for this process, you need to hold in the power button and the volume up button at the same time. Press and hold the buttons, you will feel a small vibration, but wait until the Wowie logo appears, and then release both buttons, which should leave you with this screen. After a short while, you should get the EMUI menu, and you have an option to reboot the system. So if you accidentally press this and you don't want to actually reset your phone, just press the power button to select. Now, the volume up and down rocker is to move between the different options. So we're going to go down to wipe data and factory reset. Once you've selected it, press the power button on the side to select. Now you get a security message saying, are you sure you want to do this? Again, using the volume rocker, just move the selection to the one you want. Press the power button to confirm that selection. If you get asked to do it again, continue. And there we go, that will start the device's factory reset option. During this time, try not to press any buttons and definitely don't hold the power button in because it will stop the process and possibly cause a failure. Okay, so that is the reset done. So let's go through it again in a more close up fashion. So again, the buttons on the side of the phone got your volume rocker and your power on off switch. So the device is currently on, so let's press and hold the power button and choose to power off. When the device is off, press and hold the volume up and the power button until you see the logo on the screen. Again, you will feel a slight vibration. Keep it held until the logo appears. When the logo has appeared, you can release the buttons. So we get into the EMUI menu, and again, using the volume up and down button and the power button to make selections, go through the menu. So you have the option, again, reboot system now. If you press the volume down button, it will move to wipe data stroke factory reset or alternatively if you're just having problems you can wipe the cache partition so we're going to choose wipe data and factory reset select it with the volume rocker and press the power button in to confirm the selection agree to the confirmation message using the volume rocker to, again to select data wipe factory reset press the power button to confirm your selection and again, you need to verify this. So choose factory reset. As it mentions, verification is required. So if you are actually logged into a Google account on the device, you will need to enter your Google password to access the device after restoring factory settings. If you're planning to send this phone to somebody else or to sell it onto a new user, remove the Google account from the phone first of all. So again, press the power button to confirm data reset or factory reset. And you should be met with the factory reset message. And also the warning to avoid system error, please do not press and hold the power button. So this will take a little while, just leave the device to do its own thing and don't press any buttons. Once the device is finished doing the factory reset, select reboot system now and press the power button. So there we go, there's the device fully reset and ready for a new user to log in. Again, don't forget, if you've used a Google account on the device previously and not removed it, you will need that Google account ID and password to get back into the device. So that's been how to do a factory reset on the Wowie P10 Lite. If you've got any problems, questions, or comments, stick them in the section below. In the meantime, I've been Mike. 
This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.